When the child when the child is actually coming into play or somewhere around that point. Or well, I just might keep y'all in the dark and let, let y'all know it till and wait till after the child is born. If you've been on social media over the past 24 hours and you happen to know who Chris Chan is, then your eyes probably popped out of your head when you saw the headlines yesterday. Chris Chan announces that Flutter is expecting. Now, if you don't know who Flutter is, that's Chris Chan's girlfriend or supposed girlfriend. And recently, it was revealed that Chris was spotted over in Finland. And Chris is somebody who's never left the country at all up to this point. He's in his 40s, and the furthest he's ever gone is out in California when he was a child. But now, he's traveling the world, and it's seemingly to see this woman here, this Flutter. And people, like, they have their own opinions about their relationship. Is it real? Is it fake? Why would they be spending so much time together if it was fake? And on the other hand, you have people wondering, well, you know, why would some random woman be invested in Chris Chan, be attracted to Chris Chan, especially considering what he did to his mother just a few short years ago? These are all questions people have been asking for months. But now, if this is to be believed, then I mean, all that skepticism goes out the window. If Chris is the father of this woman's child, then I mean, it's, it's set in stone. Yeah, they have a thing together. But that's the big question right there. Is this even real? As of right now, we have no confirmation from Chris as on if it is real, if it is fake. This is all spurred on by one throwaway comment he made responding to a donator on his stream the other night. And I played it at the beginning of this video, but I'll play it again one more time here. And, uh, and just again, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment. And after seeing this video, what you think is like the most possible outcome here. Because a lot of people assumed that Chris was talking about having a child this summer, meaning that they were expecting and that Flutter would be uh, giving birth to the kid sometime in about seven to eight months. However, when you look at what the transcript says, and if you listen a little bit closer to Chris, you might see that that's probably not what's going on, but still, it could be. It's always Chris, and the translations aren't always right, but you guys make your own mind up about that. When the child, when the child is actually coming into play, or somewhere around that point, or... I just might keep y'all in the dark and let, let y'all know it till, and wait till after the child is born. So when the clip starts, someone donates and asks Chris, when are you going to announce the child you are having? And Chris says, when the child is actually coming. Now, that could mean we're not pregnant yet, you know, like uh, when it when it eventually happens, I'll let you know. However, that could also mean that, you know, he'll let us know when the child is born. Chris always tries to be like very secretive with things, despite being one of the most like open and naive people in the world. But then him saying right afterwards that around summer, like around, I know it says sometime in the transcripts, but if you listen closely, it does sound like he says summer. But when I saw this posted, it was posted from the official Kiwi Farms Twitter account. And usually when the farmers post this, they're they're good on that shit. And they came out right afterwards and said, just, just to make it clear, we don't know if he's saying summer or sometime. And that's the sentiment I've seen shared like over most people on the internet who I've seen talking about this. No one knows if it's 100% for certain or not, but the fact that Chris gives those weird answers about it, God, it has to make you think. Because you see, when you first hear that clip, you might hear the first lines and Chris is saying, well, I'll let you know whenever that happens. But then you listen to the last line and Chris is saying, you know, or I might just keep you in the dark about it. And you can't give Chris that much credit. He's not like the, some sly cat that <laughs> Chris is going to, he's going to get one over on you. It never happens. However, with him saying that and the previous comments he made that, uh, maybe summer or I'll just keep you in the dark. Like, it sounds like he's saying they are expecting for summertime, but he also could be saying that, you know, they're expecting to be expecting or it could just be bullshit from chris so that's like the three options here it's bullshit she's either trying to have a child or they are already expecting one now since there's such little info about this i'll be updating you guys over the next few days or, or honestly just however long this takes till we find out what's going on here myself and kiwi tapes will be live wednesday this upcoming wednesday at 6 30 p.m eastern time for too high for stupid our podcast we do every week and i guarantee you a big chunk of it's going to be spent theorizing and looking into more details about this situation i think though one of the most likely the most crucial thing to think about if this is real right is where is this child going to 
to be raised. Are they going to raise it over in Finland? Is Chris going to leave the country full time? Or is Flutter going to move to America and raise it with Chris? We know nothing about Flutter. We don't know if she has in like a normal family dynamic because Chris sure as hell doesn't. So maybe Flutter has family that can help them. But honestly, that's just optimism on my part. You know, when you hear someone like Chris and someone like Flutter, who again, we know nothing about, but if she's with Chris Chan, she can't like, you know, she can't be the sharpest tool in the shed. Um, that fucking Smash Mouth reference. How the, how did that just happen? Nothing, but here's the thing. If these two people are having a child, you have to feel very, like, worried for that child's well-being. Um, somebody who's a fit parent should be taking care of a child, and Chris Chan, Chris Chan is absolutely not that. You know, I could clearly see, um, I, I could easily see Flutter and her family, or Flutter and whoever, taking care of that child while Chris just sits on his ass back home in Virginia, and he's just huffing and puffing about, well... Got to get that money over to them every now and again, so I got to keep doing these uh these medallions. If I sell, like, maybe 12 of them a month, that pays for, like, everything we need. And then Chris can spend the rest of the time sitting on his ass and playing video. Um, or, or you know, in, in the off chance, in the really, really off chance, maybe Chris is just the best father ever. But I don't think anybody's willing to, like, like risk that, you know? This is a man who recently spent two years in prison over allegedly, like, like diddling his mother. And it's something that we heard Chris admit out of his own own mouth and he went into like like horrible details about that and you know a lot of people defend chris and say well he only spent two years in jail and he was never charged so maybe he didn't do it i always look at it and go why was he so quick to say i did nothing wrong he was so quick to defend himself when people threw those accusations at him through jail letters or wherever else and he would always say that what he did was just soul bonding with barb he never got that anything he did was wrong because to him it never was a problem he thought it was just you know just some some weird godly shit that he could use as an excuse for why he put his hands on his mother and it also showed that he had really no problem with you know no problem with being with somebody who's in his own family there's always been a very odd like mother-son dynamic between barb and chris but christ's sake i mean it, it's just fucking weird so if you're one of the people who wants to give him benefit of the doubt on that, that's all well and good, but you can't sit here and try to tell me that this man would make for a, a fit father. You know, who am I to sit here and go, you're fit as to be a father, you're not fit to be a father. You know, maybe I sound like a prick, but I don't do that all the time. I'm not sitting here determining who would be a good parent and who wouldn't. I'm simply sitting here and telling you that this motherfucker on screen right now would be the worst. And that's a problem if this is real. However, again, we don't even know if it is or not. And that's the point of this video, because there's no solid proof that this is a thing that's happening other than that initial post and uh, Chris's silence on it after the fact. Also, you know, Chris only goes live every, like, now and again. He's pretty active on Twitter. I heard he's left Twitter recently for the app Blue Sky, so I imagine he'll be much more, like, active over there. But Chris is somebody who always goes pretty quiet after a while. And if there's a bunch of, like, heat on him, he might be more inclined to just not admit it and hope it goes away. However, I think we'll find out very soon from Chris's own mouth if this is the real or not. Because if it's not, he'll probably have no problem coming out and being like, Stop asking, I'm not actually expecting a child. But if it is real, then a great indicator for that would be Chris just being completely silent for the next few months. Again though, I'm pretty sure we'll find more out about this very, very soon. I'd imagine that Chris will move to Finland if that's the case, and he'll just leave Barb back here in the country completely. I mean, it's not like he hasn't done that already. Chris doesn't live back at Branchland anymore, which is something I feel like I gotta say every now and again, because people in my comments will be like, well, he's out of jail? No way, Chris Chan has his own place. He does. It's mostly being paid for by the Praetor, the group that, like, kind of surrounds their self around him, and honestly, the Praetor deserves a video all on its own. There are theories out there that the Praetor themselves are the ones taking these very like grainy pictures of Chris and Flutter and drip feeding them on the internet to get people still talking about Chris but really kind of like well there's these grainy pictures there's what Chris Chan's doing but there's not much to talk about kind of to keep them in our mind but giving people nothing nothing really there and you know now there's something there it seems like Flutter could possibly be pregnant, but again, are we really going to put all of our trust into the words of Christian Weston Chandler himself? I don't know. I don't know. To be fair, though, I wouldn't be shocked if it comes out and this is a thing. It's something that seems like it's been building for quite a while now with these two spending so much time together. It's just, when you hear it from Chris, you, you gotta take it with a massive grain of salt because it's Chris. You know, I've never, he could say anything. The, the whole story of him losing his virginity back in the day to Mia Hamm may have been a lie. You know, none of this stuff has been confirmed. But, 
that that's just gonna have to be seen you know if this stuff really comes to light and it is happening then by god help our soul but i mean fuck us help the help the child if he's real obviously this is something chris has talked about for years now you know he's always wanted his own child crystal weston chandler and it's wild how far we've come because back in the day, you know, he had to be thinking of Megan Schroeder as the one who was gonna, you know, be that mother for him. And then every internet gal pal who turned out to be a troll he thought was like next in line to be the mother of his child. And now, if, if again, if all this is to be believed, we have found the mother of Crystal Weston Chandler. Um, and it's this woman right here. This woman, Flutter, who many people say looks looks very, very young, but I believe it has been confirmed she's in her 30s. Like, this is not like a very young girl, despite her having the face of, of like what you see on screen right there. But people just have a lot of conflicting opinions and theories on this situation as a whole, not even just the pregnancy, Flutter, um, but just everything around it, what their relationship dynamic is. Um, there have been videos with Chris driving the car with Flutter in the back seat. Seems quite odd, you know, especially when people at first thought Flutter was maybe like a caseworker or somebody who was monitoring Chris. So everything people have thought was happening usually gets proven false. And let's just hope that happens here right like nobody wants to see chris chan of all people being a father but if this world is as cruel as it can sometimes be then that may be the reality we are living in right now although you know I, I really don't got much more to say about this i just wanted to talk about it and let you guys know what's going on i'll play that video one more time here before we end it and you guys let me know down in the comments what you think but i'm leaning more on the side right now of it maybe being just one of those like tall tales chris says but at the same time can never like discredit this because this is still a situation we've really never seen chris in anytime he's spotted in public he's always walking like right next to this woman with him and when has chris just been like so close to another woman before what's weirder about it is that we still don't know much about this flutter person whereas like anytime chris has tried to make a relationship with anyone in the real world people find out about them really quickly it's all just odd and it's been odd with chris for almost a year now since he got out of jail but I've said it a lot and I'll say it again. If anything comes out where this is like confirmed that this is happening, I'll of course drop an update to this. But as of right now, we're just going to have to see what happens. I just thought I'd make this video though because word is spreading everywhere. I saw it as one of the top trending things on Twitter. And yeah, I just wanted to get my opinion out there too. So until the next one, I'm going to hop out of here. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Again, if you want to stop by Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time over at Kiwi Tapes' channel for Too High for Stupid where we'll be talking about a lot of this and all this other crazy shit involving like white bowser daniel larson tofia chu it never gets any less crazy ladies and gentlemen so again i'm out of here and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe everybody and yeah have a good one when the child when the child is actually coming into play or somewhere around that point or i just might keep y'all in the dark and let, let y'all know until and wait till after the child is born. Yeah.